obligation to Maine means to provide students with different avenues um, to learn so all students can achieve regardless of their ability. Um, it caters for each individual student's social, emotional, physical and academic abilities. Uh, more of a holistic approach to teaching each and every child. Differentiation to me is to be able to give every child in your class, regardless of their natural abilities, access to the curriculum. So how you structure what you teach and how you teach depends on knowing your children and ensuring that they have the ability to move through to the best of their ability. So differentiation to me is about accommodating for each student's learning needs so that they have the best possible chance of learning because the teaching is focusing on their current knowledge and it provides them with the zone for further development and extension beyond what they already know. In my classroom, differentiation looks like um, a variety of teaching strategies, uh, multiple intelligence surveys to find out more about the students and follow their interests so we can plan things around those. Uh, lesson maps and the use of ICT tools, uh, thinkers keys so that um, you can develop creative and critical thinking within your students, um, visuals so cues, timetables, um, lesson sequences, um, developing smart goals with uh, each of the students so that they are knowing what they're working towards to achieve and that way it caters for the individual differences. Um, individual reward charts and systems um, for positive reinforcement, um, individual education plans, so for those that are having a little bit of difficulty in certain areas, we can plan and work our goals around those as well. One-to-one um, -one support and scaffolding for those students, again, that may need it in, in certain areas um, and where obviously it's able to be achieved. Um, Groupings in a variety of ways, so mixed ability, um, likeability, um, grouping, so through reading groups, maths groups, um, to cater for their differences in abilities again in those areas. Um, more open-ended tasks so that students can follow their own line of uh, learning. Um, some soul sessions, so student-orientated learning environments. Um, where they look at the bigger picture questions and research and um, find their own little role within that group so that they can um, best achieve a good outcome as a team. Um, some of the programs that cater for differentiation are things like homework, spelling, reading, maths. Um, our English and science units have breakdowns of differentiation of tasks. Um, there's a whole range of other things too, like the environment, the, the, the furniture, the setup, the different areas. So we have things like a chill out zone for people that need a quiet space um, at different times, the reading corner, um, a, a, a more of a technology sort of area. Um, but, and things also that come into that are things like seating arrangements. But that can also be flexible in the way of you don't always have to be sitting at a table and chair to be writing. Um, so they do have access to things like clipboards and things where they can write on in different areas. So if they if they are in the chill out zone, for example, and we're doing a writing task, they might want that quieter space to work on their own, but they can be working um, and leaning on a clipboard. Uh, small group work areas as well to cater for those um, that need to work in a group um, and others that work prefer to work on their own, there is that flexibility as well. Differentiation in my classroom starts off with pre-testing at most points, but more importantly before the year starts, getting to know your students, getting to know what their multiple t intelligences are, how they prefer to learn, how they prefer to present things, and that gives you the first step towards working out what your program is. When you're looking at your pre-testing, then that will guide what you're doing. Um, as well as that with blended learning, you can also have a look at the way children prefer to do things, um, set things for homework that might suit them, and basically move on to project-based learning where they can find what interests them and the way they like to present them. 
So um, in my current kindergarten L3 language learning and literacy program for English and my current maths pro teaching program, um, students' different abilities and levels of thinking are catered for by providing them with various activities um, in which they are learning and investigating the content through different pathways. So essentially students come to a similar grasp of the idea because the tasks are all interrelated.